Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining. Uh, I'm not in LA, I'm at home, and I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're keeping your spirits up. Uh, quick introduction, I'm Tim, and I've been doing videos on YouTube, basically taking everyone to interesting places I visited, and for some reason, most of the places tend to be about buffets. Uh, I guess that's my normal stasis when uh, choosing a place to visit. Um, anyhow, I hope these videos serve as a nice respite to some of the distressing uh, but important news that we've been hearing. And a while back, I got a chance to visit a fantastic restaurant called the Border Grill in LA. Uh, it's quite an institution there, uh, started by uh, the two hot tamales, uh, Mary Sue Milken and Susan Finnegar. And uh, it's nice to think back to a time not too long ago where you can eat with some friends and also dine on amazing Mexican food unlimited at that with uh, endless mimosas which may get pretty messy but like all places now they are closed and a heartfelt sympathy and concern for everyone working there and everyone who's affected a while ago i posted a video about vegas and its closure and out of this it's nice to see businesses step up like the win offering to pay their employees for a couple of weeks but i guess businesses can only do so much and it's nice to see Mary Sue and Susan are quite the activists out there. Uh, they've been reaching out on behalf of their communities uh, to government to make sure that everyone, the employees are looked after and also the businesses, especially the small businesses. Uh, so I'll post the, their information in the description below. Uh, anyhow, I hope you're doing well and I hope you're getting a little hungry. Uh, let's take a break from all this and have some amazing food together. Uh, come on, uh, let's go. Hey everyone, it's Tim here. I am in LA with good friends uh, Rishad and Lois. Uh, we spent an incredible day at the beach and we're getting a little hungry. And I heard there was a Mexican place started by the two hot tamales. I think that was Susan and uh, Mary Sue. And uh, it's called the Border Grill. It's not a buffet. It's uh, lots of unlimited dishes that you can order over and over again through the menu so it's a bright sunny day today we want to get out of this heat in a nice dark cool room and enjoy lots of food thank you so much for joining uh, and uh, without further ado uh, let's have some great mexican food come on let's go Definitely a nice contrast from the hot sun and uh, heat outside. We're in a nice dark room, uh, very cool. And I think we're gonna get a lot of food here. Uh, it's not a buffet, but it's endless platters of great Mexican food. I can't wait, uh, let's see. So this is our table, empty for now, but we're gonna fill this up quite nicely. So again, thank you for joining. So I love it, usually when you open a menu, you can order one or two things. You can order everything here. I uh, can't wait to give it a, a look. So that is the border brunch. Lots of things to order and it's all unlimited. Jose? Hi. So there's so many things to choose from. What's your favorite? The chilaquiles are really good, which is a really mixed, traditional Mexican. Yeah, here. everything sounds so good. <laughs> all right. All right, so everyone's so nice here. Jose's amazing. So again, you order three dishes and it keeps coming and coming and coming. So the first three we ordered is the smoked trout toast, the steak and eggs, a choice from Jose, and the ceviche. So the mimosa has arrived and it's deconstructed. So a perfect way to have it your way. Ah, so we've got the uh, sparkling wine and we've got a shot of orange juice and then a strawberry passion fruit uh, juice. I'm gonna try this one. Oh. So sorry, I made such a mess there. Uh, that's why they keep me away from the kitchen. Uh, but our food has arrived. Uh, so we've got the steak and eggs, 
the ceviche, the uh, smoked trout toast, and then what is that again? Chilaquiles. And the chilaquiles. So remember when our table was empty? Well, that's what it looks like. But look at all this food. So the bubbles have settled down. All right, cheers. Mm. Very good. All right. So let's try the uh, smoked trout toast. Mmm, creamy and smoky. The toast is soft and crunchy, really nice. And because it's a little salty with the capers, perfect excuse for the mimosa. Cheers. Let's try the ceviche with the uh, bit of plantains. Mmm, that ceviche is so refreshing. A little bit of cucumbers, really nice. And this is fantastic. Nothing better than sharing lots of food with lots of great friends. Uh, let's try that wonderful steak. Maybe the ceviche? Yeah, for mm. me the ceviche and the steak. That's a beautiful hanger steak there with lots of chipotle flavor. So herbaceous and tender. Uh, potatoes nice and crispy. Mm, very good. So let's try, Lois, what do you call this? Chilaquiles. The chilaquiles. Mm, crispy and saucy, really nice sweet uh, Mexican tomato sauce. The tortilla is nice and crispy, a little bit of scrambled eggs. Very nice. So that was just the first round and Jose has brought us new plates. That means new food is coming. Uh, let's check it out. All right, so this is the uh, Yucatan uh, pork belly that just arrived. Uh, so those are the banana bread pudding. And uh, those are the chorizo taco. Let's start one of these here. Mm. Made a bit of a mess again, but really nice. Avocado is refreshing and the chorizo mints, so flavorful, really nice. Not very spicy, mm. cheers. And let's try the banana bread pudding as a chaser. Mm. It's nice to have dessert throughout your brunch. I don't like bananas, but I love this. Not too sweet, very light. Oh, and it's, uh, it's coconutty. Very nice. So this is a Yucatan pork belly. I think the best way is to cut it up. Lois, would you want some? All right, so that is mine. Okay. Mm. Oh, that Bernays is so good. Lots of butter, rich egg yolks. Let's try the pork. Mm. Mm. My goodness. The pork belly is nice and tender. And they've stuffed cheese somewhere in that dish. So much flavor going on, really good. Guys, definitely get the Yucatan pork benedict. Oh, very good. Oh, thank you so much. So things were so good, we had to have a repeat order. The ceviche, the steak, oh, and then new is the uh, quesadilla. But don't worry, we're having round five and round six coming up. So let's try the uh, quesadilla. Okay. Mm. This is the impossible meat quesadilla. Very interesting. It's fair. Rishad, how do you like the quesadilla? I love it. All right. Really nice All right. For Jose, there's no room on the table. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm not sure. I lost count. I think this is round seven. Uh, but we've got more tamales and then the chicken waffles, the French toast, and then this again is a reorder, the uh, banana bite. All right. So let's try the tamales. And I guess you have to do this by hand. Oh, thanks, Rashad. We have the tamales there. Oh, very sweet because of the corn. Very corny in a very good way. So, I think Lois, 
Rashad and I are going to fight the good fight, finish the rest of the food, and we'll take you back for some of the desserts here. Oh, what are these? So at this time, Lois and uh, Richard are panicking a little bit because we have the breakfast sandwich, the chorizo bites, and this looks amazing, the parfait and the creme Catalina. All I can hear is, oh dear, from, uh, from Lois here, but I think uh, we'll stay strong and we'll finish it up. So let's try the uh, creme uh, Catalina. Oh, look at that crack there. Mm. Crunchy caramel and custard. You can't go wrong with that combination. And then finally, the uh, Aztec parfait. Oh, wonderful coconut cream, light and luscious, and the berries below are just fantastic. The Aztecs certainly know the desserts. So this is the Border Grill, a really nice place. And uh, thank you again for joining. Uh, and until we see each other again, uh, cheers and uh, all the best. Take care.